she is absolutely not going to let me make a video unless you pay attention to her and throw little treats at her for a while here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, she's 14 years old and uh, I mean, you just can't control it. Here, here's another one. Okay, maybe we can sneak over here and, uh, okay, start up. Uh, let me, I got a, a brown and sharp mill uh, in my base of my spine. Okay, here is the uh, main connect switch on the later, uh, are, are you taking off? Yeah, I think she's going to go outside and bark, but we'll try to get this down. So, this is the main connect switch, so let's connect it. Maybe you heard the fan come on. Okay, what's happening is the work light came on. Is it work light? It work light came on. And by the way, that work light made by Electrix with that mount that'll support 750 pounds cost $600. And I'm not kidding you. $600 work light. But that's okay because the taper attachment cost $8,000. And those are some prices from probably 15 years ago. Um, okay, now over here at the control panel, now I turn, the, I flip the switch on and this uh, uh, yellow button in the middle is going to come on uh, when the filaments are warmed up in the big tubes. See that? Now this is the magic. Ooh. No. Okay, the filament timer has, uh, it gives the the tubes just a little bit of time to uh, warm up, you know, just it, before you put the, I, I think it's uh, 575 volts to them that'll eventually come out of that system. They're uh, 220 volts DC. So uh, here's the control and it's control on and you'll probably hear the transformer kick in. Okay, let's go. move on over. Now you gotta, you know, be sure there's nothing dangerous in the machine. Get that work light up here. Double check, make sure there's no uh, hand wheel color closer that's gonna fling out. And we're gonna be careful here. And I, in my earlier video, I, I got uh, a paint mark, because, uh, the, there's less than a turn of rotation here for uh, from no speed to 4,000 RPM. So I'm going to kick it right about there, just a couple hundred RPMs, and a uh, few hundred anyway. We'll put it in the forward. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Um, yeah, that's 400 RPMs, and that's a pretty good place to start. But uh, let's see what we got for time here. I think I'm doing okay. Uh, what I like to do, and I'll show you. Well, I put it in reverse. Um, um, I want to get this in um, a high feed. So I'll put this in uh, A, yeah, oh, 10, I'm going to put that middle, like 5, 5 on that. The, this differs a little, this uh, uh, inch metric. The, the uh, English ones have a cool little window. Just, this just has that, so slap her in. Hold on. Hold on, <laughs> I'll try to do it. It needs two hands to get that back into gear if I can. Ow. Now that's here, there we go, I got it. 
But see, now we're in a coarse uh, feed. You see the feed rod turns pretty fast. And what I want to do is pump the carriage up with oil and get the most headstock oil to the headstock at initial, okay? And when you run in reverse, you get more oil to the, those expensive bearings. So I'm going to run in reverse for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. See the feed, uh, <clears throat> feed rods down there spinning, and it's it's pumping oil here through through this. Uh, unless you see see my uh, video on the cross feed screw, it doesn't get no oil. You got to oil that yourself. So okay, we can remove the stop sign because everything's going. Okay, I got it running. See, it's running uh, 400 in reverse, and that's pretty good. And it's going to take a little bit to warm this up. I think I can demonstrate some things, uh, hopefully, you know, with uh, some of it doing it one hand and uh, holding the uh, camera. We'll just let it run for a second like that. It's really circulating oil through that headstock. More so than it goes in reverse. You can take the covers off and see it for yourself. Don't believe me. <laughs> believe me. All right. Now, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now uh, let's get it, let's get it going the other way. Forward. Now, one of the settings on this machine is uh, spindle compensation, and the way I use the machine, I keep that set pretty low, and you have to do that uh, through the module. So at, at 200. So let me see. I'll get this at 200. And I can show you something really cool, I think. Yeah, that's pretty close 200 there, isn't it? It's a little bit cold, so I don't know how stable it's going to be. But I'll demonstrate the... Uh, let me tighten this a little bit. Whoop. Uh-oh. No, I'm still going. Bear with me. This is pretty cool. See if I can do it. Now, I'm going to put my hand on this and I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to try to slow that down and you'll hear the uh, compensation circuit kick in. Hear that? I want to see if it's dropping. Barely. You'll jump a little when I let go. Now I can set that so it'll hold exact. But I'm pretty happy with the way it's running, but I just wanted to demonstrate that. Of course, it'll be more effective at the higher speeds. <laughs> okay, let's ramp up a little bit. I'm going to do it slowly. Okay, that's 2,000. Let it run for a second there. Look at that feed rod spinning. I'm not going to ramp it up all the way because I got it set at too high a feed. We'll go, uh, we'll go 20, nah, a little up, nah, that's good. Now watch this, I'm going to turn the knob rapidly. See that? Now that's that quick slowdown relay you see sparking on a lot of these that does that. Get it back up. We'll do it again. See that? Down that knee. But if you move the knob slowly, it'll go back up. And we'll move the knob slowly. You see it doesn't jump. It'll just infinitely just feather at any speed, see? But if you turn it quick, see that quick slowdown kicks in. And that's that big coil you see sparking sometimes. 
Okay. See how we're doing? Got a couple more minutes. Okay, now let's look at this carriage. Now, one thing I want to point out, by running um, the feed fast like that, it's lubricating all this stuff in here. There's no gear uh, oil pump. It's all splash. So you put in a coarse feed, run it fast, and everything gets looped, and all this stuff will work. You can shift here, all that. Okay, over here to the carriage. I got it locked so I wouldn't move it. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, yeah. See, it's free now. See, it was wrung to the waist. It gets stuck. And that's why I parked the thing back here. You see the oil? Oil, oil, nice, nice, nice. You want to keep the oil system uh, working perfectly in this thing. You've got a little stuff to clean up there. But see, it just got uh, <clears throat> one finger. You know, it's nice. Oh, it doesn't get any better, as a matter of fact. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, run it about, uh, you know, kick it up for a little bit here, up over here. Run it 1200 for a little while. Okay, now uh, I'll get back to some fast stuff that this is capable of. And I just wanted to show you, it's good to pump up the carriage and about lubricating everything. So uh, we'll call it good. Uh, thanks.